Marinda is Australia's Marinda Carfrey. A fabulous runner and a good enough swimmer to be in the mix. It's her second time in Kona. Well, last year, I think I dropped the ball a little bit in my swim training. I was so worried with making the distance um, and getting through it that I let the swim fall off. She not only made the distance, she finished second to Chrissy Wellington. Now she's two minutes behind Divins and the leaders. Marinda Carthray is 10 minutes behind Divins, but ahead in the experience department. Last year was her first, and she finished second. Time to think about the next logical step and get moving. Marinda Carfrey finished second last year. When the news broke about Wellington, Carfrey's coach calmly said, nothing changes, run your race. Right now, she's a manageable eight minutes behind the leader, Julie Divins. She's that good a runner. Divins' strength is the bike, while Carfrey is the record holder in the marathon. Julie Divins, trying to build a lead on the bike that can survive the marathon charge. Carfrey, the fastest runner in the race, who will have to be that again to challenge for the win. In 10 minutes, 30 seconds is Marinda Carfrey, but she set the marathon record on this course last year, and in a race like this, people respect the ability to finish big. So many before Divins have breathed the moist air off the ocean as the leader, only to be crushed out there in the sun. Carfrey begins the hunt. History has given her many examples to let her think what's possible. So strong one. So strong, she broke the women's marathon record last year. And along the way, had better marathon times than several of the top men. Actually, somebody mentioned it to me, I think. Uh, first, I didn't believe it, so I had to go back to the books and uh, check it out. And I had to write her a little email after that and say, could you please don't run that fast next year? But no, she, she's an amazing runner. I mean, she, she's definitely, she's known for her running skills, so I'm not ashamed of that. Marinda is also a good enough swimmer and a good cyclist. But here she blows by Caroline Steffen for second place. This is doable. Imagine watching someone go past you going that much faster. Good thing Julie Divins didn't see that pass. In second place, chasing Julie Divins. She's battling a deficit and she's battling the heat of Kona, which is legendary. It's like it's, it's on you, like it's like, it's like heavy almost. And I just couldn't get, couldn't get cool enough. You, you know, every aid station I was getting, taking on ice and my and a sports bra and my pants and that melt, it had melted within a hundred meters. It was that hot, my body was, it's like you're on fire. In 10 miles, Carfrey has taken a 10 minute, 30 second deficit and made it four. With 60 miles to go, the women present their two best. Miranda Carfrey looks so much fresher than Julie Divins, and the pass for the lead happens with a few words. The two often train together in Boulder, Colorado, which means Divins probably saw this one coming. is now simply chasing her own marathon record. Now it's time for the women to enter the energy lab and handle all the mental and physical torture that comes there. It's always a moment it, I think every athlete's demons come out and ask those questions. Even if you're having a good day, I was having a great day last year and run through that energy lab, I thought I might have to walk for, for a couple of miles there. Walking is what Julie Divins is doing. Out of the energy lab and flying. This looks like it's going to happen for the 5 foot 3 inch Carfrey. Throw. All that's left for Miranda Carfrey is the marathon record. Just like last year, she has the road all to herself. I saw my coach and she said to me, you're going to keep on running hard because, you know, if you, if you keep at this pace, you can get the run record. I didn't exactly know what the run record was. I knew it was a 2.57 something and changed, so I just wanted to get under 2.57 to make sure the record was mine. It's okay to wonder what would have happened had Chrissy Wellington been able to race. What we are left to know 
was this performance by Miranda Carfrey was as convincing as any other, and that she is an Ironman world champion. that goes into that moment behind the scenes and sacrifices and the rest of it. It's just awesome. It's just so exciting to, to accomplish such a thing.